So I'm going to change my oil for the first time in my Volvo XC90. I've got a 2008 V6 3.2 liter, as you see here. Uh, haven't done it before in this car, have done it in other cars, so we'll see how this goes. Now, first thing to note is on the passenger side, this is where all the magic is going to happen. So you see the cap right down here, um, which houses the filter. And we got to take this baby off right there. In order to do that, there's a special socket that you're going to need. And that's this guy right here, 36 millimeter. It's got a half inch drive. I'm converting it down from a 3 8 inch. And before you actually remove the oil filter, you need to get underneath the car and remove the plastic pan that is covering the oil plug. So this guy right here, what it's got is bolts, four bolts, two in the front, two in the back, and two on the side, so six total. And in order to get that off, you want to use a 10 millimeter wrench. Just go around. Those guys loosened up and off. And do the same thing for the other four. And once you get all four bolts off, this will just slide right down, get out of the way so it stays clean. And then, for reference, there's the passenger front tire. If you look right here is where our oil plug is. I'll bring that out here so you can see it. And that's the guy we're going to need to take off to drain the oil. But first, before we do that, we're going to take off the oil filter up above so we can uh, relieve the vacuum so the oil can drain out. Actually, you know what we'll do? No. Change of plans. We'll open up the cap so that way that relieves the pressure and then we can drain this out. All right, we'll figure this out as we go along. So to that end, let's open this baby up. All right, some place where it's not gonna fall. Good Lord willing, that's it. All right, now we'll get underneath and we'll open up the uh, drain plug once we put our pan in to uh, drain the oil in. On this guy, here is my handy dandy oil drainer. So we're going to fill it right into there. What I'm going to do is slide this guy right underneath. And of course we'll make double sure before we start opening anything up. Okay, for this next part, you need an 11 16th inch socket. Right. And then I'm going to try to loosen this guy up. There we go. Okay. And once he's loosened up, make sure you got your bucket in the way to catch all this great oil as it comes smashing out. Just to be sure. Where is it going to go? It's a guess your paw. Wouldn't it be horrible if this wasn't big enough to fill it? Let's watch this for a second. I think it's going to fit. Alright, perfect. I think we're good to go. 
Okay, so the oil continues to drain and it's just about done. It's done enough so that I can uh, actually at this point probably plug it back up and then I'm going to go up top and change the filter. Is that, is that place done? Okay, now I'm going to work on getting the uh, oil filter cap off. Again, I've got my trusty uh, 36 inch socket. Let's see if we can snake this guy down here. Let's see. Here's the old filter. Here is my new filter. Hopefully, these are going to be exactly the same size. Yep, that looks pretty darn good. Okay, I'm going to work on getting this one out of the house. Okay, there's my filter housing. There's the old filter still leaking. I wish I had a little oil out, so be careful when you take this out. What I'm going to do now is work on taking the New filter and just popping it right on yep the top until it seals so now i got my new filter ready to go this one came with a nice new ring which i'm going to use to replace the one that's on there right now so you can see right there that's where my oil filter goes back in i got my new oil filter right here in the housing with the new o-ring and so now i'm going to work on Bring this guy back in there. And we're just going to screw him right back on. And then use our new wrench to tighten her down. All right, back in a second. Okay, so I'm going to go back in, tighten this guy up. Obviously, I don't want to tighten it too much, but enough so that we're not going to spray oil everywhere. Yep, that is good. One more. Perfect. All right, we should be good to go. Now I just need to tighten up down below and then start the oil. Okay, we've tightened up the oil filter. We've gone back underneath and tightened up the oil plug. So we're all tight, oil's drained. What I'm gonna be doing today is uh, 10W40, and I think it's gonna take between seven and eight quarts. So let's get it set up right here. And let's start putting some oil in this vehicle. Okay, so now we put in seven quarts. And I think, if we look, we are about where we need to be. I know you can't tell, but trust me, we've got the right amount of oil on our dipstick. So, nice job. Let's seal this baby up, and we'll call this an oil change. And then obviously at the end, just need to go back and put the cover back underneath, but that's an easy option or deal of just putting the four bolts on.